Hello. Hello, guys. It's Mrs. Z. It's a June 14th. Um, to, uh, oh, no. It's July 14th, uh, 2025. Okay. So, there is exit ticket, grade 5, mission 1, lesson 10. Okay. It says subtract. Subtract means to break apart and take away. Okay. So, um, I have a 1 and 7 tenths minus or give away zero holes and eight tenths so in this um units we can say um this is one hole when you have a hole you can divide into 10 pieces and you will have tenths so together uh, one hole will have 10 tenths and seven tenths make make 17 tenths so when you think about money, you can think this is one dollar and this is seven dimes. So one dollar is made of ten dimes plus seven dimes makes seventeen dimes. And dimes are tens when you think about money. So you can easily change that one dollar and seven uh, dimes into 17 dimes. If you go to the bank and give them whole dollar, they give you 10 dimes. Plus seven that you had, it's 17. So now 17 tenths minus, you don't need to give whole dollar. So you need only give eight tenths. You have 17 tenths, so you can subtract eight tenths from it. So then 17 minus 8, you can think about 10 minus 8 is 2 plus 7 is 9. So now you have answer 9 tenths. But remember, 9 tenths is not, it's not 9 dollars or 9 once. It's, an, it's less than $1. You, if you have 9 dimes, you do not have a dollar. You have a zero dollars and nine tenths. And that's how you, you will um, use the language to solve the problem. So now, um, if you, if you are, you also, if you, if you need to see this, how it's written as a fraction, this is nine out of 10 pieces then makes dollars. So zero and nine tenths is also written nine tenths as this. Just additionally that you can use. Okay, number two, subtract vertically showing all work. So vertically means they want you to use standard um, div uh, subtraction. So what is important in this is to see the holes. Like this is 84 whole dollars and 28 whole dollars. So when you think about that as a terms of money, you can just think how much would be 84 minus 28 and your answer has to be about that a value so you can always or you can round as well this to be 84 and 6 tenths to be about 85 dollars and then 28 and 5 dimes 28 dollars and 5 dimes about 29 dollars so when you estimate you can subtract uh so i can give you nine um once if you have if i have only five so i have to regroup the tens and make here 10 more so i'm adding those together so now i'm gonna have 15 so 15 minus 9 you can think what number plus 9 is the same as 15 so 9 10 you can use fingers 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it's a 6 6 so you can always check 6 and 9 makes 15 and then i know now i'm right 7 give away 2 is what number 
plus 2 equals 7. Um, subtraction and addition is um, family. So it can always, you can always check subtraction with addition. Okay, so in my answer, estimate is about 56 whole um, dollars, if I think in terms of dollars, but I don't need to. This is just uh, helping you. Okay, so now A is 84 whole, 8 tenths, 4 ones, decimal point, 6 tenths, 3 hundredths, and 7 thousands. When you have a unit, six tenths, three, three hundredths, and seven tenths, you can see this as all together, 637 thousands. After I place first number, I'm going to draw my line with my highlighter so it helps me to stay um, clean and do the uh, correct place value um, and uh, make not, uh, make also decimal on in the same uh, line. So now I'm looking the second number. I need to do subtraction. So I'm going to put my uh, uh, um, operation that I need to do. So now I have to the left, I have 28 whole dollars. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write here $28 and then thinking about. Uh, and then I have 56 or 5 tenths and 6 hundredths. You see, the second number did not have thousands. But uh, uh, I am allowed to, it's like an empty chair. Nobody sits there, but it's still place for a thousands. So uh, it's the same thing if I have 56 hundreds and I divide that, uh, I can, in the smaller pieces, I can make 560 pieces out of 1,000. Okay. When I did add the zero, I can uh, start working on my subtraction. So a decimal in the subtraction is on the same line. So a decimal I put first. And now I can say, okay, seven thousands minus zero thousands is seven thousands. I like to put my seven this way. Now, if I need to give away six and I have only three, I have to regroup the tens and make um, 10 more here. So together with three, I will have 13. So now when I have 13 hundreds, I can give you six. So what number plus six equals 13? So I can count six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it has to be seven because seven plus six equals 13. Now five uh, tenths and five tenths, I can say five minus five is zero. So I won't have any tenths. Now, if I have four ones, and I need to give you eight ones. I don't have enough, so I'm going to regroup the tens and have seven tens left. The one ten is give it gave me ten ones together with four that I had is going to be fourteen ones. So now I can give you eight ones. Fourteen minus eight, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it's six. And six plus eight is 14. And uh, seven minus two is five because five plus two is seven. Now I know that my answer is 56 and 77 thousands. You see how I read all these three numbers together. Those three digits and the last name is thousands. So I don't have any tenths. I have only 77 out of thousand pieces. So now you can see that my estimate was very close because I have 
56 holes and that was my estimate so if you needed to choose a b c d answer um and you estimate even if you don't have a perfect uh, correct calculation you still can get correct answer by doing um rounding numbers to the nearest the whole uh number or any any position of the place value okay that was a Num b um is the kids always think that this is a bigger number but when you see this uh, that is a seven seven holes seven dollars seven ones so and this is not even one uh, not even half it's a zero holes and 35 uh, hundreds or we can say this is a zero dollars just the 35 cents you have and here you have seven dollars so even though you have seven whole dollars you can show this as a decimal so they purposely trick you they put seven and they think you're going to put 0 0.35 first so this is seven dollars and i'm adding myself decimal I'm going to add a zero dimes and zero mm, pe pennies because when I have seven holes, I don't have any parts. I don't have any part of a decimal, zero tenths, zero hundreds. <clears throat> I only did two zeros because here I only have a two place values. So I need only hundreds. So if I have thousands right here, I would add three zeros if I needed to make if the second number has thousands. So now I'm going to put a next decimal point and then I'm going to place, I do not have any holes, so zero holes in 35 hundreds or 35 cents. So this is kind of like if you go to Walmart and you're going to buy um, gums for 35 cents so what you got you have only seven dollars so you give cashier uh seven dollars and then you buy a gums and then they will need to give you the change from seven whole dollars so let's see how much money you're gonna get back so first thing uh when you give them cashier seven dollars um and she wants five pennies you do not have uh she wants three dimes you don't have it all you have is a seven dollars seven one dollars so you're gonna regroup the dollar of course she will do that but uh, you are um so you can go to bank and do that um then you will make from one dollar you're gonna make ten ten dimes ten tenths but you still don't have any any pennies or any hundreds so you need to keep regrouping you're gonna regroup one dime and have nine dimes left and you're going to have 10 pennies at the end so now when you regroup that seven dollars and you have a change you have a ten dimes uh you had the ten dimes and then you regroup one dime to make pennies now you have ten pennies or ten hundreds you can give away five so ten minus five is five and then you have you had zero uh tenths now you have nine so you can give me a three so nine minus three is six because six plus three is nine and then i needed to put the decimal in a line and six minus zero is six because the cashier did not want any dollars for a uh, chicle for a gums so um your change is six dollars 65 cents so this is the answer, $6.65, or six whole and uh, 65 hundreds. You see, now this is three digits, 077. Seven. The last name is thousands, or this, uh, now you have only here two digits, so that the two digits, their last name, is 
um, hundreds. And if you have only one digit in a number, that is name, last name is tens. I just like to do that, but that's place value uh, names, just, just to tell, let, let you know. Okay, guys, so that was um, Exit TK Grade 5, Mission 1, Lesson 10. Okay, I hope you like that explanation. And here is all things we did. Okay, um, and I didn't estimate this one, but you should um, think about $7. And um, that is, if I estimate this to be half a dollar, then this answer should be six and a half. That's estimate. All right, guys, have a beautiful night.